Hey Penguin Army, it's your boy right here and welcome back to another video. So, welcome to Modern Warfare 2 Beast Class Setup video number 1. Yes, you guys actually wanted me to bring the Beast Class Setup video series to Modern Warfare 2, believe it or not. I've gotten about 3 to 4 questions asking, is there some classes I can use in Modern Warfare 2? Because believe it or not, a lot of people still like to play Modern Warfare 2. They don't care about Black Ops 2. They don't care about Modern Warfare 3. They only concentrate on Modern Warfare 2. Now, I know a lot of you and a lot, a lot of you want me to actually make Beast Class Setup video on Modern Warfare 3. However, I cannot do this because I do not own the game. So sorry about that. But I can give you Modern Warfare 2 classes. This is the closest thing I can get to it. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into this class. Now, very quickly though, I will say this was a live commentary, but I think I did so good with it that I might as well do a Beast Class Setup video. The main reason why I decided to make it into a Beast Class Setup video is because what I had basically in my head after the game was like, well, I'm going to upload this as a live commentary and then do a commentary about it being a Beast Class Setup video. And the viewers don't really want to see two of the same gameplay. So I was just like, I'll do a Beast Class Setup video and that'll be that. Now, let's go ahead and get straight into the class. This is the Mini Uzi with Rapid Fire and Suppressor. Your secondary will be the TMP with Suppressor, okay? Your Lethal Grenade will be a Frag. Now, on the gameplay, I have a Throwing Knife. This is simply because the class was something else before I switched it to the Mini Uzi class and didn't have time to actually switch out the Throwing Knife. Now, your Tactical Grenade can either be Concussion or Flash. I prefer flash grenades because it kind of blinds the enemy enough to where like if I'm in a gunfight and I throw one okay and I'm shooting at him and he starts shooting at me it gives me enough time to actually go prone and crouch back up and shoot him alright so it kinda camouflages me enough to where I am able to get that kill now the first perk is bling the second perk is stopping power it can be pro or not and the third perk is ninja pro Let's go ahead and go through what these perks do, even though you guys probably already know what it does. Bling allows you to have two, two attachments on your primary weapon. Now this is, to Black Ops 2, this is like, oh my god, this was like, this is amazing first, you know, Call of Duty game with two attachments. Well, I don't think it was, but it was. this was the game that kind of like, mainly went two attachments, basically. And what I mean by that is, this is the game, one of the early games that you will actually, you saw people running around with two attachments the most in. You know, you'll see someone with like, a noob tube and a red dot sight. One of the two, you know, it can be anything. Or a red dot sight and a suppressor. So, the mini Uzi shoots fast enough as it is. But with the rapid fire and the suppressor, this way you can shoot even faster, which takes down your enemies even quicker and that combined with stopping power is just an unrelenting force mixed in with a suppressor to keep off the map when you're taking down your enemies now if you don't want to put on bling as your first perk I highly highly recommend if you're going for being silent put on a suppressor on the mini Uzi if you really don't care if you're being seen on the map at all whatsoever and you're running scavenger as your first perk then go ahead and go with the rapid fire it'll make it so you can kill your enemies quite quicker so the reason why I have the second, the secondary weapon as the TMP, and I know a lot of people are probably like, why didn't you say the Rafika, the G18, or the PP2000, or something like that. Because those are the main ones that people actually look to when making videos like this. They go put on the Rafika, put on this, put on the model. Well, the TMP, to tell you the truth, is my favorite secondary. It outbeats the Rafika in my opinion. Alright, this gun is a beast, especially with a suppressor. Now, this gun can save you a lot, a lot of times. Your secondary can save you a lot of times. And you'll notice that in the gameplay, you'll see, I will go for a reload cancel on the mini Uzi because the, I was thinking of the reload cancel in Black Ops 2 where as soon as you put in the mag or the cartridge, whatever you want to call it, you can basically reload, you know? And that doesn't work in Modern Warfare 2, of course not. So you'll see in the gameplay a lot of times I'll go to reload and then I'll like why why or something and I'll be like uh you know I'll go to reload and I'll freaking sprint and I'll be like uh this is not working. So a couple times during that gameplay I'll switch to my TMP and take off the enemy. 
Now, one of the major downfalls, this is the only downfall I can think of for the class, is that if you're running bling, you will be running out of ammo, which means you'll have to pick up someone's primary weapon besides your mini Uzi, which is kind of a downer. So, I would recommend using scavenger over bling, but... As long as you're able to get those kills in quick enough with the amount of ammo consumption you have combined with your TMP, you should be able, if you're like managing your ammo a little bit every shot, you should be able to actually go into about 15 kills and then you will have to actually, you'll run out of ammo and have to pick up someone's gun. Now, this is a beast class. This is simply why I'm making the video in the first place. So... For my third perk and final perk, I have Ninja Pro. Now, for those of you who don't know why people use Ninja, it's a sound whoring listen for footsteps. Now, for those of you who don't know what sound whoring is, it's basically where you're listening for people's footsteps in game. You're trying to pinpoint their exact location, knowing they're coming from there, so you're already ready when they're going to come out and try to kill you. You get the advantage on them. You know how to set up and basically kill them. So. You will want Ninja Pro. You can have your third perk, anything you want. But I, I like Ninja Pro the most. This way I have silent footsteps and I can hear where people are coming from. You'll notice a couple times in the gameplay I already aim where I hear the person at. Alright? So, this is the class. And for your death streak, you can put anything you want. It doesn't really matter. For your kill streaks, you can put anything you want to. That doesn't really matter either. I think in the gameplay I had Care Package, Pavlo, and Tactical Nuke. Even though I knew I probably wasn't going to get the nuke, I was like, what the frick? And this class is just beast. It, like, when you put this on in a free-for-all. Now, in, in Domination, this is not the best class because in Domination, a lot of times you're going to be shooting from afar. But in free-for-all and close quarters maps, this weapon is just absolute beast. Like, you can put this thing on with rapid fire and just boom, boom, boom. And unless you got to reload, you basically got... If you have good enough aim and you don't have to reload, that's basically your kill right there. You got to kill. Now, if you have to reload, like say you're shooting at someone and you run out of ammo and you don't really reload, that's why you switch to your TMP. It's got a very nice iron sights in my opinion. And with the suppressor, okay, with the suppressor, it doesn't jump as much as it normally does, giving you more accuracy to actually take down your target. For instance, you could put half a clip, say you put three bullets of your mini Uzi into a dude. He's still alive. You drop shot, or maybe you just switch to your TMP moving left and right, that little strategy right there. You switch to your TMP and take him down with the remaining bullets. About like three bullets in the TMP, and he's down because he's still got the same damage that you did to him from the mini Uzi. Overall, I think this is a very good class combination, and that's basically the class setup video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave some feedback in the comment section below. Also, leave some classes for me to try out in the comment section below. If they're good enough, I'll make a beast class setup video about it. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.